Ryan's marriage to Roseanne has certainly opened doors for him in Hollywood. He walks through a big one tonight when he debuts in his own series, The Jackie Thomas Show. But even though Tom's name is on it, his wife's clout is behind it. Jackie Thomas, how the hell are you? Man, I could go for a beer. <laughs> but I won't, because I just got out of rehab. <laughs> Tom Arnold plays Jackie Thomas, an Iowa meatpacker plucked from obscurity to star in his own TV show. But success definitely goes to Jackie's head. I always joke with the writers. That's why they love me so much. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of the many reasons. <laughs> he comes off... Uh, being kind of a tyrant sometimes, but you also, you love the guy. You love to hate him. You ever been to rehab? Oh, it's great. You know, the food stinks, but you go there and you got a lot of celebrities crying and spilling their guts out. You should try it. <laughs> the show is a I'm definite Jerry. case of art imitating life. Like his new TV alter ego, Arnold himself was an Iowa meatpacker and spent time in rehab. Tom also experienced sudden fame via his marriage to Roseanne Barr, now Roseanne Arnold. And Tom says many of the storylines revolving around Jackie's mm -hmm. clashes so, with the show's uh, staff of writers are, are taken straight from his wife's turbulent first year on her number one show, Roseanne. The character's got a lot of Rosie in it because all the crazy stuff that people said she did in the first year of her show and, and since, we put into the character. I feel hurt. I feel betrayed. I feel angry. I feel hurt. <laughs> the biggest bunch of ingrates I've ever seen in my whole life. The Jackie Thomas show already stirred up some controversy when Roseanne insisted that ABC schedule the sitcom in the coveted time slot following hers. It's a move that virtually guarantees that Jackie will be a ratings winner. But Tom says business is business. We don't control the network, but we, we, uh, that's what we've, we developed the show to be a show that followed Roseanne. And this is, uh, this is what we wanted. We, did, we felt we deserved that because we produced the Roseanne show and it's been a successful show for the network. And that's how everybody does it, you know. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but I'll tell you one thing. If it wasn't for me, you'd be back there doing what you're doing before you're doing this. The New York Times praised the Jackie Thomas show, saying it has, quote, this season's most promising collection of characters. USA Today was not so kind, calling it, quote, TV's biggest ego trip since the Ross Perot show. The Jackie Thomas Show debuts tonight on ABC. Just that arrogant and sanctimonious pose kind of got me, and I thought, you know, it needed a few holes poked in it. And so I wrote back two really funny faxes. Roseanne takes on the TV critics and gives them two thumbs down. Entertainment Tonight has the story for this Thursday, December 10th, 1992. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. I'm John Tesh in Los Angeles. Hey, John. I'm Mary Hart in New York City. Hello, everybody. Roseanne Arnold is on top of the TV heap and in a battle royal. Her show is number one in the Nielsen ratings. Her husband Tom's show is number two. So what could be wrong with her world? The critics, she says, and she also says she has the facts. I don't think it should be uh, allowed without being uh, challenged because it, it, it's sickening. Roseanne Arnold is still burning over what she calls personal attacks in reviews of her husband's new situation comedy. The L.A. Times critic Howard Rosenberg wrote, quote, The Jackie Thomas show is rarely funny, and that Tom Arnold is, quote, one-dimensional, end quote. Ray Richmond's review in the L.A. Daily News begins, quote, Tom Arnold happens to be one of the least funny humans on the planet, end quote. In response, Roseanne fired off reviews of the reviewers. I don't mind if they say stuff like, um, I don't think the show is funny, or in my opinion, or stuff like that, but just that arrogant and sanctimonious pose kind of got me, and I thought, you know, it needed a few holes poked in it. And so I wrote back two really funny faxes. To Richmond, she wrote, quote, Ray Richmond happens to be one of the least perceptive humans on the planet, end quote. Richmond calls Roseanne's profanity-spiced letter funny and charming. I must have pushed the right button or the wrong button simultaneously. Uh, you know, just, to, just to, to be on her invective list, I think, is kind of a badge of honor because it's so well known. Roseanne's letter to Rosenberg appeared in the Times, complete with a promise to add a character like him in the show. Quote, be sure to tune in for Howie Rosenboom, portrayed by an effeminate, mousy actor. End quote. And, and it makes me mad. Roseanne and Tom went public with their anger on Peter Tilden's radio talk show on KABC in Los Angeles. She's furious with USA Today critic Matt Rausch. He wrote, quote, Roseanne and Tom Arnold are never less funny than when cracking themselves up with each other's excesses. And rarely have they been as indulged as in the Jackie Thomas show, end quote. Roseanne shot back a private letter she says is intended to teach him a lesson. I 
sent him something back because I really want him to know what it feels like to be personally attacked. USA Today critic Matt Roush was not available for comment, but his newspaper had plenty to say. Editors said they had informed Roseanne's publicist that they would no longer do stories about any of his star clients, including Tom and Roseanne Arnold. John? The Arnolds, Tom and Roseanne are in an eyeball-to-eyeball -eyeball standoff with ABC over the future of Tom's comedy series, The Jackie Thomas Show. Well, now you can play Hollywood mogul and decide this Hollywood power struggle for yourself. Just stand by your phone. The way things are going, they're gonna crucify me. Roseanne and Tom Arnold seem to be singing about their troubles at the Farm Aid concert this past weekend. They're at the center of controversy once again. Roseanne's clout as the star of the top-rated show, Roseanne, was big enough to get her husband, Tom, a series of his own. The Jackie Thomas Show had the most desirable slot on the ABC schedule following Roseanne. Ratings for the series have been good, but not good enough to automatically assure the program another season. This angered the Arnolds. Okay, so you've got convictions. Shut up about them. Now, Roseanne's told ABC she is through with them and plans to take her show to another outlet as soon as possible. As the pressure mounts, ABC has still not announced its decision about the Jackie Thomas show. What would you do? Well, we're taking a phone poll and want you to decide. Should it stay on or should it go? To keep the Jackie Thomas show on the air, vote yes by calling 1-900-773-1199. If you want the show to get the axe, vote no by calling 1-900-773-2299. Once again, if you say yes, ABC should renew the Jackie Thomas show next season, call 1-900-773-1199. If your vote is no, call 1-900-773-2299. Each call will cost you 50 cents, and you must be at least 18 years of age to participate. We'll have the results for you tomorrow. And Tom Arnold are at odds with ABC over the renewal of Tom's sitcom, The Jackie Thomas Show. And they've threatened to leave the network unless the series is picked up. Should ABC renew Jackie Thomas? Should the show get the axe? That is the question we asked you in our exclusive 900 telephone poll. I tend to think they should give it more of a chance. Give it another season. I don't like it. <laughs> I think it actually kind of stinks. Well, the vote wasn't even close. In our exclusive Entertainment Tonight phone poll, an overwhelming majority of callers voted to cancel the Jackie Thomas show. Almost 40,000 participated in the poll. Just under 75% said ABC should not renew the Jackie Thomas show, while a little more than 25% felt the show should remain on the network schedule. These results reflect the opinion of people we stopped and talked to on the street. I would can it. I mean, I don't... I don't, I don't like the show. It was okay, but it wasn't nothing great. I'd save it, I'd save it. I'd give a thumbs up for the Jackie Thomas show. It was like a little mini ego trip to me, so, and I didn't watch it again. This is not good news for Roseanne and Tom Arnold. Roseanne has been waging war against ABC. She says the network reneged on a promise to pick up the Jackie Thomas show for next season. ABC says it's not yet ready to decide the fate of the series. TV Guide critic Jeff Jarvis says he thinks ABC should renew Jackie Thomas. The series has improved and should be brought back, and he suspects the feud between ABC and the Arnolds will end in a love fest. I think that somehow or another, uh, Roseanne and ABC will end up hugging. And ABC says it will decide the fate of the Jackie Thomas show and announce it in about two weeks. Look, I, I thought we were going to talk about a part in your show. Okay, but just a small one, because I don't know if she's the actor that Arnold was. <laughs> Eddie Albert guest stars as himself on The Jackie Thomas Show. It seems Tom Arnold's obnoxious TV series star is a huge fan of Green Acres. Albert proved to be a good sport about it all. There's an audience on that show, and they fell out of the seats when the pig ran off with me, and I was hanging under the pig like a sack of, of, of wheat. The Jackie Thomas Show airs tonight on ABC. I'm ready. You know, one of the most talked about series of the past season certainly has to be the Jackie Thomas show. And the star of that show is one of the most talked about people around. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tom Arnold. Hey! Hey, Tom, welcome, sir. Tom. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Uh, we appreciate your visiting with us. Now, I, uh, I trust all is well with you these days? Well, I guess so. I haven't read the tabloids yet today, so I don't know. You know? <laughs> yeah, you, you sort of uh, pop up into those things every now and again. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of the bloopers you brought along is, uh, what, loosely based on your problems with the tabloids, isn't it? Yeah, see, see in this scene, 
Jackie has just won a big lawsuit with the tabloids, right? And uh, so they're afraid to print anything about him in the, in the papers, yeah. you know? And his ratings are starting to go down, so now he's afraid that maybe his ratings are going down because they aren't printing nothing about him in the tabloids. So that's, that's what this scene is all about? It's fiction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's what the scene is supposed to be about. But anyway, I got about halfway through it, and uh, I just got screwed up my lines, and I had, took it in a whole different direction. Well, this is what you call improvisation. Right, Dick. <laughs> Take a look, right over here. No, there's nothing. We just dropped from fifth to seventh place, that's all. Was our lead in a uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just dropped from fifth to seventh place, that's all. Was our lead in a rerun? No. <laughs> Actually, it was, a, it was a new Roseanne. I know what's going on around here. I haven't been in these tabloids for a while, and people are starting to forget about me, and I'm starting to lose my fans. And I can't remember the last <laughs> damn line, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, I'm so upset about the ratings. Yeah, I know. I am too. Coach was down too this week. Yeah, I know. Home improvement. <laughs> People are out shopping, man. It's not time to panic yet. We've only been on the air two shows. Well, then... <laughs> the critics, Jerry. Are we still on the air? Is the, is the bleep machine working? Tell me the bleep machine is oh, working, man. please. You always get a job on cable, Dick. Oh, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> now, uh, dare I ask you what else you might have brought? Well, you know, uh, you don't have to worry, Dick. You know, last thing I would do is ever cause trouble for a network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. This next blooper uh, actually involved Roseanne in sort of a roundabout way, didn't it? Roseanne, who? <laughs> I know I could be. Anyway, see, Roseanne, she came on my show, you know, and she played a stalker who was like after me. And, uh, you know, she follows Jackie Thomas around everywhere. And in this scene, I'm asking two of my staff what they think of her. Okay. Okay. Be honest, guys. What do you think of her? <laughs> I like her. Jackie, she's a lunatic. She thinks that her finger is God. Laura, a person's religion is their own. <laughs> Take it from, take it from, uh, having a <laughs> Be honest, guys. How do you like her? I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be, oh, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Roseanne obviously wasn't in that scene, but no. she's in the next we scene. We were talking about Rosie in the scene, and she's in this next scene here, and we had to do a little piece where the show's a little short, so we did a little piece, a special piece for the credits, you know, the credits to roll yeah. over, and we kind of, you know, we're kind of improvising stuff. And, and uh, the story is that Jackie, he's bought all these big gifts for himself with his money, mm -hmm. and uh, he doesn't like the gifts, so he ends up playing with all the boxes, right? They're scattered all over his dressing room. And uh, so anyway, I'd say to Rosie, hey, let's have a little fun. What we'll do is we'll pretend like we're driving the boxes around, right? right. You know, we'll be real funny, and she doesn't go along with it. No, wait, she wait. says, I I don't think it's funny. She doesn't support you? No, she doesn't support me, you know. And so I said, well, I think it's funny. So let the cameras roll and we'll see what happened. I figured eventually she, you know, she'd, she'd join in with me. Yeah. And so I'm waiting and I'm waiting for her to, to just come and save me in this scene. And what happened? Well, you'll see what happened. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs>
you let her run so long? Because I was trying to get her. She left me for dead out there, Dick. I was trying to get her to join in with me. She, she just left me. She knew what she was doing all along. Yeah, she did. Nice piece. Thank you, Tom. Thanks, Dick. Appreciate you coming. All right, buddy. Tom Arnold, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, bloopers from Columbo with Peter Falk and Mad About You starring Paul Reiser, Helen Hunt, and Jerry Lewis. Network television lineup is one of Hollywood's favorite gossip games. Who's in, who's out, who's hot, who's not. Now ABC is first on the grapevine with its fall schedule. And the biggest question mark, who wins in the family feud between the Arnolds and ABC? The Jackie Thomas Show is biting the dust as ABC shakes up primetime like never before. Also gone are previous stalwarts such as Doogie Howser, M.D., The Wonder Years, and Life Goes On, along with up-and-comers like Civil Wars, The Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, and Homefront. That Jackie Thomas got axed, however, was no big surprise for its star, Tom Arnold, who was busy over the weekend taping a Dick Clark blooper special that features outtakes from the canceled show. This may be the last chance I get to see the Jackie Thomas show, so I wanted to go out with a bang. They're real funny. The series had the powerful backing of Arnold's wife, Roseanne, who produces it. But media buyer Paul Schulman, who analyzes network programming for advertisers, says ABC had no choice. People just didn't like it. It wasn't funny. Roseanne may feel it was her greatest work, but her greatest work didn't work, and it wasn't getting the numbers. However, all this bloodletting is making room for a dozen new shows from adult-themed cop dramas like NYPD Blue and Missing Persons to a spate of eight new comedies. Thea, you're spreading yourself too thin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love hearing Thea and Thin in the same sentence. <laughs> Three of them star proven stand-up comedians. Thea Vidal and Brett Butler play single mothers in the sitcoms Thea and Grace Under Fire. But ABC saved its biggest surprise by slotting comedian Paula Poundstone with a new comedy show on Saturday night. And with hits like Coach returning to its Tuesday time slot after Roseanne, experts say ABC is positioned to challenge top-rated CBS. What they are saying with this schedule is we want to be number one. And they have gotten rid of everything that was marginal and it's a guts move for a network to make that kind of wholesale change in their schedule shulman also expects lois and clark the new adventures of superman to hit it's lois lane and clark kent is a 90s couple she's a workaholic reporter he has superpowers and he's looking for love <laughs> 